Hello everyone, I welcome you all to another video by Legacy IIS where we are going to look at something that basically can have a lot of entertainment value in terms of the visuals that we are talking about but when we actually go down to understanding the event we will see it has major repercussions in terms of its effects on lives and property. An event which took place in the United States of America has the potential of affecting other parts of the globe as well. I am talking of the volcanic eruption which has taken place in the Hawaiian Islands at Moana Lao. So as far as this particular event is concerned, the US Geological Survey, which is USGS in short, that noted that the Hawaii's, uh, the Hawaiian Islands, Moana Lao, which is actually the world's largest active volcano, is the one which basically saw an eruption in the early morning of 28th of November. So on late Sunday night, late 27th November, after a series of large earthquakes which have taken place, this particular volcanic eruption happened. Now, as far as the geological understanding of these volcanoes and earthquakes are concerned, we know that these are connected in terms of the volcano being connected to earthquakes and vice versa and also related to tsunamis. The presence of earthquakes is a lot around the mid-Atlantic ridges. It's uh, specifically around areas where there are hot spots. It's also in the regions which uh, come in the area of ring or fire or the circum Pacific belt. Okay, so there are several places and definitely at the plate boundaries where two plates are coming and colliding. So these are the spaces where you have the most vulnerable areas where you can have a greater probability of evolutions or uh, events like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions happening. Now this particular volcanic eruption similarly also happened or was related to a certain earthquakes which took place right before the volcanic eruption. So the areas where basically you had the lava emerging from was basically the crater, the summit's crater and also the vents which were basically going down into the northeastern flank of that particular volcano, the lava which basically came out from under the earth's surface. Now these particular regions that we're talking about, fortunately the areas where you had maximum lava eruption and then a falling down of this lava are the areas which are basically far from places where people have their houses and other forms of settlement. So fortunately in that sense lives and property is not going to be that seriously affected in this particular region that we're talking about. But if you look at or uh, try to understand what this volcano is all about, now this is one of the five volcanoes that actually make up the entire big island of Hawaii. All right. Now the southernmost islands of the Hawaii archipelago is uh, has this particular big island and it is one of the very big five volcanoes that together makes up this particular big island. This particular volcano according to the USGS is actually the one which has erupted earlier as well 33 times in human history it is actually especially when we look at the time frame between 1843 to today we are looking at a good number of 33 times when it has actually erupted now this particular uh, name that has been given Moana Laos uh, is basically referring or it means the long mountain now it is rightly so, this name has rightly so been given because this particular mountain extends 74 miles from its edge along the Hawaiian Islands or in the southern coast all the way to the rim of the summit's caldera or the crater where exactly we saw this particular eruption happening. Now this particular Moana Lao is actually in the neighborhood of Kiliao which is basically erupted and also has destroyed a lot of homes when this eruption took place in 2018. Some of the Moana Lao slopes are actually much steeper than Kiliao slope. So what happens because of the steepness of this particular slope, lava can flow basically much faster than it erupts. Alright, so the pace at which this lava can go and affect areas is going to be much faster. This is what you can see in terms of the regions that we are talking about, the location of these particular places uh, to get a very good understanding of what we are talking about. So the population, if we look at Big Island, that has actually increased a lot from 1980. 
all right and we are looking at one third of the island's residents actually stay near to this particular city which is basically on the west of this particular volcano and we have the hilo to the east all right as you can see vividly in this particular map now what the worry is that if this particular volcano goes south then this particular area is actually something which inhabits which is inhabited by almost 5000 people so according to the usgs the eruption that had migrated to a rift zone all right on the volcano's north eastern flank rift zones are basically areas which become extremely uh, which become very very fragile you know when the mountain rock is cracked and it's a very weak area so the weakness of that area gives a greater possibility for the eruption of the volcano and the magma and the lava to basically come out of it this particular as i was telling you eruption is after a lot of earthquakes which have taken place in the region which has further accelerated the eruption of this particular volcano now the repercussions of this are actually enormous and one by one we're going to look at it now according to the experts here a lot of these statements that they have made the lava flows basically are not threatening as of now because the any of the downslope uh, downslope communities that are there they are not getting affected by it and there are enough indications that this particular eruption and the lava that has come out that will remain restricted to the northeastern region where you don't have too much of settlements so as long as it stays there of course it is not encouraged but then again it is not causing as much harm as it would have caused if it goes down south however this particular volcanic eruption is releasing a lot of gases primarily sulfur dioxide which is extremely harmful gas all right so this volcanic gas and fine ash all right and pelts hair is basically something that can actually go downwards and affect uh, air and lot of related things now if we look at the early stages of this eruption it can actually be much more dynamic we cannot really have much sense in terms of the way in which this lava is going to flow out and the entire course can basically change rapidly so there is a possibility that we need to be very very cautious in this direction and the ash that i just told you about that has possibility of damaging both vehicles as well as building it can further affect our water supplies disrupt the sewage and also the electrical systems in the region it has a potential of damaging or even killing vegetation moreover there can be a possible irritation to the eyes and lungs and further harms to the crops and animals there can also be damage to the infrastructure so we are actually looking a whole range of problems that can basically arise because of the way in which the lava once it moves downwards and the kind of emissions and the release of gases as well as ash that it is bringing out it is it is has the possibility of really affecting the nearby areas also uh, this particular in order to kind of map and have a proper understanding of this entire event the hawaiian volcano observatory is actually closely man uh, monitoring and managing the entire system with the emergency management partners so that they can look out as to what other developments closely that are happening with this volcano however at the same time good news is that airlines are operating okay and uh, they are taking place uh, they are operating in the nearby island regions so uh, there is a good news that at least travel and commutation is not being affected if some emergency services have to be provided there is good accessibility of transport and connectivity now the lava uh, as long as it is contained within the summits it is not a problem but still the residents have been given an earlier they had been given an advisory now they have been given a warning that it can actually possibly go uh, to nearby spaces so you have been warned accordingly we also see that the air quality that will happen uh, that will be affected in this big island region is going to be a lot and uh, it is further being monitored as to how this particular eruption can further deteriorate so much will be understood on around 1 to 2 weeks since the eruption where we'll actually be able to monitor that the effect what effect has it brought into the air pollution level 
and then the of course the concern is that if it reaches the areas where people actually reside then it will be quite problematic so in this regard the hawaiian county civil defense has basically announced that it will start uh, providing shelters whereby people can actually come and uh, you know stay and they can be evacuated on their own initiative so there have been several such eruptions which have basically happened not just uh, this particular eruption but something that we have to really be uh, worried and cautious about there are actually 77 other confirmed eruptions which have taken place somewhere around 2022 from several different locations across the globe all right and some of these basically the important ones which have happened very very recently which as aspirants of civil service examination you should really have an eye on first is the cotopaxi in ecuador in fact ecuador uh, has actually had a lot of others very important earthquake uh, volcanic eruptions uh, in this particular year itself we have kerensi in indonesia the circum pacific belt or the ring of fire indonesia is always kind of erupting it's in a way always in fire or susceptible to fires russia is also where in the chin cotton region russia has been in news the entire year uh, this year in 2022 and also uh, for the volcanic eruption which happened philippines again like indonesia falls in the region of the circum pacific belt and tal is where Where this particular volcanic eruption was witnessed we also have nishinoshima in japan where volcanic eruptions have taken place this year and uh, japan is known for its early warning system and preparedness with regards to disaster management and hopefully it has uh, not seen as severe uh, results as there would have possibly been uh, apart from the world of course in india also there are several Uh, areas where uh, which are very very susceptible to such eruptions there are volcanoes there including barren islands where there can be a possibility of any time a volcanic eruption that the narkondam uh, islands the narkondam eruptions which uh, are there in andaman baratang also in andaman when we are looking at deccan trap we are basically talking of a hot spot that is basically there under um, maharashtra which actually has led to the kind of basaltic eruptions which led to the formation of the deccan traps which we see in the present day uh, swedish step like uh, traps which are there and uh, a because of the hot spot that is probably there still under the deccan plateau the dinodar uh, hills which are there in gujarat are also susceptible to such eruptions Dhosi Hill in Haryana, up north in the northwestern part of the country, is also a region where uh, we have areas which uh, become susceptible to volcanic eruptions. So there is a cause of concern that the world uh, can, you know, kind of really think about, and India can also really look into this direction. That what are the possible areas where we can have volcanic eruptions, and it is important for us to be cautious in this regard, and also, you know, effectively manage. them so it is very important that we start spreading the information about this volcanic eruptions let us start by sharing this particular video with your friends and family so that they are aware of any future volcanic eruption that may happen and the possible effects that are there also if you found this video informative let me know by liking this particular video and do subscribe for more such information about the globe and the world at legacy is